Hi, this is Chris at my handyman in Rochester, New York. Uh, we're still working on the blue room. Um, I do have the first coat of this particular color on here, but I'm putting the second coat on now. I wanted to show you some techniques on doing that. On um, this particular technique, uh, years ago people you'd like to do the W form, like this. As you can see, it does cover pretty well, but you're do still doing sections and segments and you're getting a lot of edges along the, along the way. So you've got to work kind of quick. The other way of doing it, and this is, what, this is the one that I prefer, is the all up and down. So you're going to go almost to the ceiling, you're going to go all the way down to the floor, and you're going to do long stripes going all the way up, all the way down. Now you're going to put enough paint on your roller to accommodate this and make sure that you've got so much paint on there that it's not dripping off of the roller so when you bring it over. So you can spin it like this if you want to. When you start back on the wall again, start in the center of the wall but don't start at the top. If you start at the top it's going to gob. You're going to get a big mark up there. You don't want that. So what you're going to do is start in the center and then keep coming down like this and up and down like this. You're going to go a couple of rows and then you're going to find that you're losing paint on your roller. It's going to start getting thin. And you'll find that out when you're looking along the edge and you're going to see that it's feathering. When it starts to feather, you've got to get some more paint. But also at the same time, look and see if you're getting paint roller stripes, heavier pieces of paint that's going down. If you are finding that, just very lightly take your paint roller and go over those to make sure that you've got a nice even coat along everything. So you're because when this dries, you're going to see those stripes, and it's not what you want. It's going to look like crap. What you really want is, and you're going to go in between roller coats, is you want some feathering along the edge. A wet edge, always have a wet feathered edge, so you have the next roller full of paint to be, go, to be able to go over top of that seamlessly. So, I'm going to finish up this wall like this. This will be the final coat on that. The room will be finished. Uh, I'm hoping that the customer will be happy and then I'll put the uh, tile or the uh, uh, face plates back on the electrical sockets and uh, I think that'll do it. I'm going to be hanging some closet doors in here. We'll uh, show you how to do that and uh, I'm also pulling up carpet. Um, so videos are coming.